Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on BeamNG Drive for a rather silly challenge. The aim of the game is fairly simple. We are all starting at this runway. We're on the Jungle Rock Island map, starting at the runway. In the docks is a trailer. I have to drive, pick up the trailer and get it back to the docks. Well, this lot are going to be trying to stop me. Everybody has got one life. If you wreck, you are out. And my vehicle is considerably quicker. So, sorry, I was having to faff in the whole like start command. So, my vehicle, considerably quicker. We're at 0 0.3 in terms of the power to weight ratio. I've got 700 horsepower in my two-ton Roma. And my Roma is quite strong as well, which is going to help it here, in theory, survive the hits. However, there are more of the cars chasing me, and all they have to do is stop me once, whereas I have to stop, well, I have to survive six vehicles. This corner is the laggy. Last time I drove around this corner, it was fine. This time it has gone to frame rate hell. Don't ask why that corner in particular is so bad, but yeah, it sorts itself out everywhere else. Uh, but yeah, so we get a head start, I've got a more powerful vehicle, but I have to pick up a trailer. So when I get this trailer, my power to weight ratio will not be as good, and I have to try and drive quickly with a trailer. Trailers are not built to drive quickly. Uh, trailers are a problem trying to drive quickly, so that should be an interesting time. Uh, I don't quite know how it's going to go. I mean, there's a bunch of different ways to get back to the airfield. The thing is, none of us know this map very well, so we're probably gonna get lost and that includes me uh i have a rough idea well i know how to get to the trailer but after that there's a f well i know a i don't know, I know we can go back the way we came but i don't want to because there's gonna be a bunch of cars heading towards me uh i can go a very long way around basically just stick to the outskirts of the map and i'll get there eventually there is a way through the interior i just don't know it they don't either but we're likely to end up getting lost if we try that i might have to try it at some point though now around here there is, there it is, a trailer with a sofa. You know, the most important of obstacles. Oh, I have missed that. Trailer, come here. Go, 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 go. Right, we are off. I heard a car, which is why I've booted it. Uh, we've booted it with the trailer attached. Now, I'm going to try a sneaky strategy. So, going back the way I came is dangerous, right? If I can goad the cars that are following me into the docks, I'm hoping the path back is going to be clear. Three are behind me. I don't know where the other three are. Uh, oh, now I've got to be careful. Now, they could have littered their cars across the road. Maybe. Uh, but I don't know. Okay, can we goad? Am I safe? Am I safe? To do a sneak... It's a very... This is a very sneaky strategy here if it works. Because they're going to... They're, they might have somebody up here. They know where I'm picking the car up from. They know where I'm likely to be going. It could work. It won't work more than once. Oh, no. They, they did have someone. I mean, it's sensible to wait there, right? Come on, Roma. So, we are... We've, oh, the trailer is very snaky at the moment. So, I've got to go as quick as I can with this. Now, my vehicle is fast, but, of course, the trailer has other ideas... Trailer, no, stop drifting. I don't want drift. Trailer, bad trailer. Uh, no. Uh, it's all over the place. Okay, they they are at least further back. I don't know if the Pazima had a crash in the tunnel or something. Because I have got an out of control trailer at the moment. Uh, whoa, gears, 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 gears. I need to remember to change up. Uh, I'm so focused on this trailer doing its own thing. Where is the turning? I don't think it's too far down here. Oh, there's so many of them. Uh, okay. Oh. All right, that works. What they've done is they've actually made it more difficult for themselves. Clever plan. I would have gone for the roadblock a little further away from the airport. Because all I had to do was punch through a chariot, which, with this, is not too bad. Uh, we're on the runway. We will make it. I think they've made more of a mess for themselves than anything else. It was a very cheeky plan. It was a very, very cheeky plan, but it worked. Oh, it, we did. Oh, I have stalled. It worked. It did the job. Uh-oh. Well, they hit the trailer. Oh, they did some good damage to the trailer uh, on that one. We may have had a little bit of a stall. Uh, yeah, it was a very, very sneaky plan on that one. The only downside is, now I've completed it, the trailer's going to get heavier for, 
<laughs> for the next. Maybe I shouldn't have done my sneaky plan on the one with the light trailer. <laughs> oh. I, it was a, there was a few very scary moments trying to drive down that road. Okay, attempt number one has gone well for me. So, we move on to our next attempt. The trailer has got heavier. So we've gone from the sofa to a 200 kilo box. The trailer about 100 kilos heavier. I sh really shouldn't have used my sneaky strategy on the lightest of trailers. Because, uh, yeah, this one is going to be tough. I mean, maybe a bit more weight is going to stop the trailer from snaking? I suspect not. I suspect what's going to happen is it's going to make the trailer worse. But we shall see. Um, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, the trailer might become uh, essentially a flail for the vehicles behind. If the heavier it is, it might be quite difficult to push it around if it's very heavy. I mean, it's not very heavy now, so the trailer and box is about 600 kilos, uh, which is... I mean, it's, it's a good amount of weight. However, my vehicle is nearly two and a half tons, 2,400 kilos. So, oh, that corner's not laggy this time. That's great. Um, all right. Come on, Roma. You can do it. We've actually had a pretty good start here, and we are going to need it. So, strategy time. What? Whoa! Hello, bumps. Don't wreck now. God damn it. So I've got to... I mean, I've got to get to this trailer as quick as possible, but I cannot afford to wreck. So you will see me taking things a little bit more cautiously. I say a little bit more cautiously. We are getting airtime and driving about at 80, 100 miles an hour on roads where you're pro not in a very heavy Roma. Shouldn't be doing this fast. Um, but yeah, I, I reckon if we get the trailer and go out the other side of the dock... Ooh, that might be it. So I can't go do the same strategy. They will be prepared for that strategy now. Uh, they will have a vehicle probably hanging back here. Now, admittedly, you saw their roadblock wasn't the most effective. However, it, there are ways to make it more effective if you think I might try that again. Uh, so I'm not going to try that same strategy. Oh, I, I respawned the trailer wrong, so it's not quite in exactly... Oh, no. Start. I didn't get my vehicle lined up correctly. Trailer. On. On. I can hear cars. Go! <laughs> oh, God. It is. It's a picnic. The picnic has turned up. The picnic is the first vehicle. Oh, there's a road down there that I want to go on. Now, I am going the same way at the moment as the way I went last time, but I want to go this way. Uh, okay, now there is. There's a dirt path that is going to be an exit. Oh, there's an ice series. The ice series looks very broken. So it's obviously had an accident somewhere along the way. Oh, or it may be, it may be de sinky lag. It's, it's always it's always a possibility. Now, if I had different tyres, I'd be tempted to go straight up that other hill. Everybody is behind me now. Is that a good strategy for them? Probably. Because I'm going to be very difficult to drive. So while I have way more power than them, it's very difficult to use it. Uh, the I-Series... I mean, the I-Series is almost dead. Oh! Oh, that trailer. Oh, no. Oh, I have a feeling I'm in a little spot of bother with my trailer already. We have taken an axle off of it, so now it's, it is now just a complete flail at the back. It's going to be so wildly out of control. Oh, this is going to be very difficult to do. It's difficult for them to stop me because it's going to be such an unpredictable thing to deal with, but I've got to try and keep it. At the moment, my vehicle is considerably heavier than the... Oh, that was a good hit. That was a very good hit. Oh, well, ah, my trailer is lighter. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much to the iSeries. You have actually now made my job a lot easier. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't intentional. Couldn't do it better if I tried. However, it has worked. You have got rid of the box. Oh, but the trailer is snaky, 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 snaky. Oh, crap. Snaky. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Bad things are happening. Bad things are happening. Bad things are happening constantly. I don't really know if I need to say it. Yeah, no, don't overtake me. Oh. I will have stalled in that. Can we get going? Yep. I mean, our vehicle's okay. Oh. 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 Thank you. Uh, sunburst is safe. Well, I don't want to go this way, but it's easier to go. Oh, what is going on with the trailer? 
I'm having control problems. <laughs> oh no, what is the axle doing? The axle has a mind of its own. I don't really have any sort of hope of controlling this. Uh, that's not how a trailer's supposed to work. I'm, I'm limited to about 60 mile an hour with this. Any more than that. And it just flails. We're going the wrong way. Oh, nope, nope. Oh dear. I honestly don't know if you need to do too much to crash, to, to have me have another accident, because it's... Oh, what is it doing? Nope, 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 nope. Flail and hit, flail and hit. Oh, no. Oh, well, it's... It, wheels come off. Uh, we, we are just stuck. Okay, now we're going to go back this way, are we? That's fine. Oh, I think that's us dead. I think that hit on the eye. Oh, well, no, it has... It has... Ki well, we still kind of work, but kind of work is the only way I can describe this now. Uh, that hit did smash our wheel up. It'll work while we're on the concrete. However, uh, I think that I think it's broken something else in the steering. Uh, it's not looking good. Yeah. Once that axle was gone, we were dead. It took out the steering. I mean, it fought on valiantly. The box coming out was a good, was kind of helpful. Uh, do I actually have any steering left at all? No, not really. Yeah. The, the box coming out helped us. It lightened the trailer. However, the axle just made that undrivable. It just spun and pirouetted at, at random. That's <laughs> that was absolutely horrific, that trailer. It just did what it wanted to do. And uh, what it wanted to do was uh, spin me. You don't hit, don't lose an axle. It's very difficult to deal with. So, things didn't quite go so well last time out. Um, what are we going to do? There's a couple of fear, a couple of thoughts that I am having here. My first thought is, do we... Now, my vehicle is not very good off-road, okay? This much, this much I know, and there's only so much that I can... Well, I could have put the vehicle on rally tyres and off-road tyres, but then I wouldn't be very good getting there. But... What I could do, the off-road paths here are very, very narrow. Now, I don't know where they go. We might get lost. However, they're very narrow. They're going to be very difficult to overtake me. They're going to be very difficult to actually do much. And because they're at much slower speeds, could we essentially make a roadblock with the truck? My vehicle's so heavy. My vehicle and trailer are going to be getting on for three tonnes. Uh, Pazima or I-Series, the heavier cars that are giving chase, maybe the Chariot, I don't know what's heaviest out of all of those. Like, those heavier vehicles, what can they do? What can they do to that? Because I, I, uh, I might get stuck, I don't know how bad the mud gets. If we come to a rock crawling section, we are a little bit screwed. Uh, or like a boggy section, I might get stuck. Actually, uh, we might still have the power talk and uh, who knows. I'm, I'm going to go for a strategy. What this strategy might devolve into is me getting stuck in the mud. However, if it doesn't devolve into that, uh, it could be quite interesting. And it's going to throw up some new issues for them to deal with. I mean, if I happen to manage to take out some cars along the way, if they happen to get stuck or whatever, perfect. Uh, we will wait and see. Oh. Okay, sideways we go. Oh, that was much better. Oh, no, slightly overshot. God damn it, it was almost cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, trailer. Okay, for a second I thought those things there were the cars. Was a, was a, was a chasing, a pursuit car? It was not. Right, so... We're sticking with the same escape strategy. Actually, maybe we won't, because they might expect that. We're not sticking with the completely same escape strategy. Oop. But we are going out that way. I think they've spread out more. It does look like we've only got one car directly behind us. They may have spread out more on this one. Now, at the moment, see, what I'm hoping is they're going to see what I'm doing and be like, Ah, we know what he's up to. He's going to go here and try and preempt what the plan is. Oh, all right, make the corner. Here we go. Uh, through the containers. Now, they might have a car up here. I mean, if they have a car blocking this, I'm in trouble, but we will see. Oh. Okay, we're up the dirt path. Now, we are not going. Oh, understeer. We've got more than enough power and torque and everything to get up here. Uh, right, let's go. Let's see what they can do. Uh, let's see what my vehicle can do as well is the better question. 
Can you do it? This sort of path I'm okay with. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Is that mud? Yep. Okay. We're fine. Now, I don't know how I get out of here. We might just be leading a police chase through a forest. Oh. <laughs> That's all I can really do. It's like, how do you deal with three tons on a road where you can barely overtake? Oh, like that. That was a good hit. That was a very good hit. Uh, that was a little bit alarming. I am not going the way I want to be going. Uh, right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Up the hill. There's a lot of cars behind me. Uh, but there's a lot of cars that just, what, what, what can you do? We're going for the front. The only problem is, right, this gets me, this keeps me alive. It doesn't really get me to where I want to go. Where the hell am I? I don't know. I'm very lost. I'm very lost. Please let there be some rocks. I so some of them have rally tires. I don't know if they're all on rally tires or some are probably on slicks. I might have the ground clearance advantage. The chariot looks a bit high, but other than that, I might have a ground clearance advantage. <sighs> oh, God. Uh, right. Oh, the trailer's getting away from me. Yeah, they, they are just, they all end up getting stacked behind me. <laughs> it's, it's an interesting strategy. I'm a very, very, I think I'm still heading the right way. If this comes out where I hope it does, it will be perfect, but I don't know. Because there's a dirt road right by the airport that this might, oh, bridge. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm just, oh, no, no, trailer, trailer. Uh... Where is this? Where the bloody hell am I? I don't know. I think I just saw one of them on... Did I see one of them on the bridge? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, push it out of the way. Whoa. Okay. Well, it caused us a little bit of grief. But again, it's low speed. I can deal with that. Oh, trailer, trailer, trailer. This bit's bumpy. This bit's quite bumpy. Uh, ooh. Nope. Don't want to go this fast. I want to slow down now. Oh, no. I do want to slow down. Oh, that's a good hit. That is a good hit. Oh, they've broken the axle again. Not again. No. No. I I, I don't like this at all. Oh, where the hell am I? Oh, is this it? Is this it? Is this where I think it is? Oh, go, Roma, go. Why have you... Oh, I didn't go down to first. I, I thought I had pressed downshift, but I didn't. Uh, oh, trailer. Oh, okay. Well, it's shedding bits of trailer now. Uh, <laughs> It shed lots of bits of trailer. It shed lots of bits of trailer. We're on the runway, and now I can just boot it. The trailer can do what it's like, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> it did it. I, 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 I was so curious whether that strategy would work. It, it did. It, it actually worked surprisingly well. I think it's Gliska in the Pazima had a pretty good idea, actually. Uh, they did well to even navigate to the road I was on, because I had no idea if that road came out there, and thankfully it did. Um, my trailer... I mean, we lost the box, and the trailer is destroyed, so it's a small victory. It's a petty victory, but, uh, yeah. Bloody hell. It, it, it was... It, it did what I wanted it to. I was so difficult to overtake, even on the wrong tyres. It was so difficult to do anything with the car that we could get it back to the runway. So, sneaky strategy number two actually worked pretty well. I think going for outright speed with the trailer... I mean, I'm sure it could work. It's very difficult. Very difficult to make that work. So I've got a different plan. Don't know whether this one is going to work at all. Uh, but I didn't think the off-road one was going to work particularly well. But, you know. So, this plan is going to be a little bit mad, essentially. My goal is going to be wreck as many cars as possible. So I have a stronger vehicle than the ones giving chase. I'm going to I'm going to act like a normal one. We're going to race off towards the docks like a normal one and then we're going to try and wreck as many cars as possible. They're not allowed to crash into the trailer until I have connected it. So the trailer is going to sit safely where it is. Um, and then we're going to play a little demo derby in the docks. Now the reason why I'm going for this is the docks is kind of enclosed, so we should be able to survive a few hits. My concern, main concern, is if I puncture my radiator, I'm suddenly on a ticking time bomb of a car. If I can, if I can wreck a good number of them, it should make life easier. There is no guarantee, though, 
I could hit one of them and instantly break my car. I could hit all of them and my car could be fine. This is strong. I don't think it's quite beast strong, but it is a fairly strong vehicle. Uh, we will try steering, but really steering and radiate, well, steering oil pan would also be a very big concern on this one. Now, how can I be sneaky with a bright orange Roma? Um, yeah, how can I be sneaky through here? Uh, if I could push a car off into the water, that would be amazing. Uh, of course, I'm in third person camera, everybody else is in third person camera. Oh, and I have stalled. So they are going to be able to, like, look over stuff and see me. Now, they may well, like, try and camp out the car. I can hear vehicles. We are going from being the hunted to the hunter. I can see some cars around. Now, I could also... There is another silly, silly strategy here. I could also wait here, have them think that I've gone and run away, and wait for them to leave and try and stealth it out. Now, Brazen is going to see us, surely. Can I get the picnic in? Not the picnic's not exactly the biggest threat here. Could I get the picnic in the water? I really want to put the picnic in the water. Where is it? Oh, it almost worked. It almost worked to put the picnic in the water. It, I just timed it slightly wrong. Come here, picnic. You are, well, I mean, you could be lunch, I guess. We could... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't outmaneuver me. God damn it. That's not how this game works. That's not how this is supposed to work at all. Picnic. Actually, I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to break my car uh, here if I can help it. Come here, little brazen. Oh, <laughs> that's a... Oh, no, it's a live picnic I've stalled. Uh, I mean, it's done surprising amounts of damage to the picnic. Ooh. We almost drove ourselves into the water. Oh, come on, picnic. Yes, picnic's gone for a swim. Right, my vehicle. No, oh, survived that one pretty well. Okay. Now, they may have gone... For, they might have got a clever plan, actually, of leave. When they figure out what I'm doing here, don't engage. Don't engage with the Roma. Because you know, you know, in a 1v1, I'm going to win. I think Brazen... <laughs> Brazen is outraged. Good. That's what we like. If... If... <laughs> if they know that I'm targeting them, then what they're going to do is hide. Oh, I took out a tyre. So I was trying to damage that car beyond use. Um, but, oh, I snapped my steering. I snapped my steering because I didn't hit it dead on. Now, I'm not completely out here, but this is a difficult one to deal with now. Uh, oh, don't hit it with that side. Oh. Okay, can we goad that into chasing us? Oh! Actually, you know what? Kind of better than the issue. Well, I'm, that's that's really annoying. I found, I just assumed that was a drive through a bush. Oh, that's really frustrating. That's really frustrating, that one. God damn it. Where did the Pazima go? There it is. Come here, Pazima. I mean, I've, I'm basically married to this strategy now because I'm a three- ah! <laughs> Someone else found it! Yes! <laughs> I didn't think it would work so well, but it did! Oh, that was glorious. Uh, oh, I thought Glisco went through this building. I, I think Speepers might have actually wrecked their car on that bit. Uh, where's the Pazima gone? Pazima, come here. Pazima. Speepies, yeah, absolutely wrecked their car on that bit. Okay, we're taking out two. There's for, for only four remaining. Did I see a car? Nope, I saw a barrel. Those barrels really look like cars. Because they're so, like, brightly coloured. I can hear a car. Oh, third, yeah. I can hear a car. If this three-wheeled... Oh, they've got themselves out. Oh. Oh, Speed Beast is unstuck. Oh, yeah, three-wheeled vehicle isn't great. Oh, oh that's very solid. I thought I was going to go. Actually, I think because... Oh, no, nah, wait. Can I can I goad someone into oh, trying to go too fast down here? Probably, but I am not... In my current state, I am not a good push car. This has just become a sumo demo derby match, which, while funny, is not the best thing. 
Uh, is, do I not the the point of this challenge was not this. Uh, so yeah, slightly not worked. Oh, that is a dead end. I thought we could loop up. We cannot. Uh, oh, I was hoping they were going to overdo that one. And Speed Beast is in the water. Happy days. Right, come here. That corner of my car's already knackered, so why not do another hit on it? Oh, they have hit each other. Oh, no. No, I've lost rear drive. Good hit. Oh, <laughs> well, two cars fell in the water. A glitchy bit of terrain sadly pulled my wheel off, but it was very funny up until that point. Oh, that strategy might be doable, but I just don't think the Roma that I have is strong enough. I just don't think the Roma's strong enough for that to really be a viable plan. Shame. It is a big shame, that one. However, yeah. It was a little bit glitchy terrain. Got a bit a smidge unlucky. Uh, however, I mean, well, to be fair, the steering was already broken, actually, at that point, anyway. So, yeah. It was always going to be a difficult one at that stage. But uh, we drowned two cars. I'll, it's not a win, but I did what I wanted to. So... The plans have been, well, I say let down. The steering is just not held up to the kind of abuse that we would need for this. I have actually changed my vehicle from quick ratio steering to normal steering. In the theory, it may be a bit stronger. I don't, don't know. Uh, we're going to give it a go. But I'm not even going to be going for ultra aggressive strategy on this one. My plan will be simpler. What I'm thinking, uh, I don't know whether it's a good idea or not but we're going to try it anyway, is I'm going to attempt to use the road. Well, the road that I drove down in that previous one, I'm going to try and go back that way. My theory is it's a, it's a narrower and slower road. So what's going to happen is they're going to struggle to pit maneuver me and they struggle to get alongside the trailer, especially with it flapping about. Now, there's no guarantee on this. Unlike the dirt path where there literally is no way to overtake, there will be ways for them to overtake. We will have to wait and see. And there's a very good chance that even if I somehow survive it, when I get to this corner that I'm coming up to here, I'm just not going to recognize it and go straight on. I think I can still get to the airport. It just makes my job a lot harder. Uh, yeah, there's no guarantee I'm going to remember that junction. I think, honestly, if I even if I manage remotely to get there, I will be I will be happy. Uh, it's so... Di without a sneaky strategy and trying to go a, a longer way around, it's so difficult to make it. Oh, and I've overshot that corner trying to be quick here. That is awful. That is not at all what we need. Uh, I mean, I might be able to... Ah, uh, you see, they're likely... Or they might try and block the dirt road, although... Oh, in some ways, you don't want to block the dirt road. Because if you force me to go... Oh, oh come on. Alright. Uh, well, there is a ro uh, aroma a thing. Uh, oh. Uh, picnic ran away. Oh, that's there. Hello. Don't mind me. I don't want to actually crash into you this time. I want to try and run away with a trailer. Unfortunately, my iffy cornering and stall... And, yeah, it's not had a very... not been a very good run for me so far. Uh, now... Oh, well, that's a problem. Trailer, sort yourself out, please. Trailer, thank you. Oh, trailer's still rolling. Well, that's made my life a million times harder. Uh, if we can unditch ourselves, ooh, which we have done. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Use the mighty power. Uh, where is the corner? Uh, I think it's going to be really... Di I think this is going to be very difficult. But we're going to try it. Now, trailer, you're going to have to act like a flail. Which, I mean, it does. It flails around on its own, something chronic. But uh, we need to weaponize that somehow. And I don't quite know how, but yeah, we'll give it a go. Ooh, it's bumpy. The narrow section, if they time it right, they could literally just push me off the narrow section. If there's a group of them, I expect someone's going to fall off. Uh, oh. Wait. No, the trailer's just beaten me. I think I might have killed myself uh, on with the trailer. Ah, oh, the trailer's just gone round on us. Uh, oh. Uh, my steering is still good. 
<laughs> I love the panic. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, actually, that works surprisingly well in giving me a second to go the, continue going the way I want to. I think something is broken in this. I don't, don't know what. Uh, oh, something's broken in my front suspension. It's not right. I mean, it does throw up a... Uh, oh, God, an interesting predicament. God, trailer's having a mind of its own here. Yeah, I think you want a stronger vehicle. For the stronger steering in this. Uh, right, hello. Hello, Gliska. Oh, no, 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 steering. Oh. God, my steering is so bad again. I mean, I didn't even really go that hard into the ditch. It, oh, my tyre's gone at the back as well. Gliska has gone the wrong way. That's fine. I can continue to lead. Uh, oh, God. I can't. This is so difficult to drive. Again, though, it's the same theory of this road is... Oh, steering. It pulls. It pulls really badly. But you can see the damage to the front wheel there. If I end up in that ditch, we are not getting out of it. Uh, no. No. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're all good. We're all good. I can't look back and see what chaos is going on. Uh, a lot of chaos is going on, but organized chaos. Uh, now, again, we're trying to use the narrowness of this road to our advantage. And the danger of if you go wide, nah, they just hit the trailer in the right way. I think... Do I still drive? I mean, I still drive. The real question is, do I have any steering? I think I do, you know. Uh, okay. We have... Yeah, it's not any worse... Oh, no, it's a bit worse than it was. It's not much worse than it was. Oh, that will probably be solid. Uh... Right. Oh, God. It's so wibbly. It's so snaky. There's a car gone off in front that makes me wor worry about what they're up to. Uh, oh. Uh, you've, uh, yeah, yeah, we want to go this way. We want to go this way. We've lost the box. My car, though, is so heavily damaged that the box doesn't make any difference to how fast I can go. Uh, uh, right. Ah, no. Go on, push that ice series out of the way. Nah, we are, if, if we aren't crash welded to it, I don't know, we are free, but we're in the wrong gear. Oh. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Go, use the flail, use the flail tail. Nah, I've got no steering left. Uh, I think we are impaled. Yeah. yeah, it's so difficult to not take any steering damage with the trailer doing things on its own. Um... I think my, I honestly think my vehicle choice was, was what let me down. Um, it's just the front end. I, I genuinely thought the Roma was going to be stronger than that. I think I should use a D-Series, to be honest. Uh, I think that would be the way to go on this one if you were going to do it. Because, um, yeah, as it stands, it just gets... And it doesn't have to be broken completely. It just needs to be slightly tweaked for it to be impossible. So we had to come up with alternate sneaky strategies. And some of them worked. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. Uh, I think that road, if I hadn't been broken immediately, I think that road could have could have done it. But all it takes is the right moment. And there we go. This is a fun challenge. It is definitely a challenge. It is definitely very difficult to to do. Uh, I think, yeah, vehicle tow vehicle choice is going to be very important. And strength is going to be significant <laughs> in this one because you can't go fast with the trailer so the only thing you could really do is just go as strong as possible i think we'll probably revisit this different maps different scenarios and all that because it is a good fun game mode a tad frustrating at times but uh, there we go that is going to be it for this video thank you all very much for watching and until next time a uh, goodbye